What's up guys, it's Wraith, back with another video. Now in this video I'm going to be announcing the t winner of the 1000 sub giveaway and also talking about what it is and how to be actually be a su successful um, Fortnite YouTuber in 2019. But kind of recent because obviously every single day it's harder to become a YouTuber, especially for such a big game such as Fortnite. I know tons of people are wondering how to actually improve their YouTube channels and how to actually get noticed on YouTube because it is a very difficult thing. And I've been using a couple of tricks that's helped me a ton and also I feel like is going to continue helping me every single time I post a video, so I'll break that down for you guys. But as all of you guys are waiting for, the winners are Puffy and also Apple Apple. I'm not sure who that is. He didn't really have a profile picture or anything. But those are the winners, so congratulations to you guys. I replied to your comments and asked you guys for your email and Instagram on the previous video. Um, so let me know what you guys think <clears throat> and what you guys can actually, what you want me to contact you on. And if you guys didn't win, don't worry about it. There will be coming, there will be giveaways coming in the future. Don't worry about it at all. I will definitely be giving away more PSN, more Xbox, and also more uh, Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switches and mobile cards because I noticed some of you guys was wondering about that. So don't worry about that. They will be coming. But <clears throat> now let's get into a couple of tips. And the first thing I'm just going to say is YouTube is not a get rich quick scheme. Now a lot of people tend to think the idea that living the life of a YouTuber is all glamorous and it's easy. And yes, it is very, very good once you actually get to the top and you can actually make a living off of it. You get to do something you enjoy doing. It's not the hardest job in the world, especially if you enjoy it. But let me just tell you, it isn't as easy as everyone thinks it is. Now you have to be grinding, you have to be putting in the hours every single day, every couple days just to post videos. You have to keep replying to comments, um, talking to vans, like everything you do is going to make a difference for you growing and not growing. Like I said, it may take a year, it may take a couple months, you may be lucky, it may even take a week depending on how well you do and if you get a viral video. But again, it may take a while and people sometimes think that it's just an instantaneous thing. You can start making money. It's not. I'm just going to let you guys know now. Um, but trust me, if you do actually succeed in YouTube, it is worth it in the long run. Trust me, I can tell you that for free. Um, I know th tons of people who are at 80, 90,000 subscribers and they're saying they're just live, they just love what they do. and They make a good amount of money off of it. So after we get that out of the way, I'm now actually going to get into the tips. And the first thing is no copywriting other people. And what I mean about not like copyright strikes, I'm talking about don't copy other people's content. So now what I mean about that is like I see someone with like a million subscribers and they'll have a sick thumbnail, blah, blah, blah. And they got like 500,000 views on the video, right? Um, then I see someone with a thousand subscribers, the exact same video, the exact same tips, very similar thumbnail. And I'm like... Do you really think you're going to grow off that? Like, think about it. Like, think about it logically. If someone with a million subscribers posts the exact same video, the exact same tips as someone with a thousand subscribers, what would you rather watch? Would you rather watch someone trusted that other mi millions of people watch or even hundreds of thousands of people watch? Or would you rather trust someone that may be starting off new, they may not be getting the correct tips? 99% of people answering that question are going to say, well, obviously I'd rather watch the person with a million subscribers, right? Now that's just logical, but so if you're just going to basically rip off other people's content and you provide the exact same tips, trust me, you will not grow on YouTube. I don't mean to be like negative or whatever, but I'm just letting you guys know you will not grow on YouTube, unfortunately. Um, now, again, I'm not saying that because like I'm trying to be a dick or something, but like it's just true. Um, but one of, th one of the things I'm also going to mention is... I don't mean that you can't not make a similar video. So for example, in a Fortnite video I made how to improve your shotgun tips, right? Now obviously I did a little bit of research on other people's videos and see what they did and took a little bit of ideas. Like maybe one video I took a creative map and I'm like, hey, this is a good map. But I provided still my own tips, what I think personally it helped me aim better, what I think can help you guys aim better. And I also provided a creative map or something like that that I found. Now I'm not, like I said, you can share ideas from other people's videos and see what they did that was successful and actually use it to yourself and help you. But again, you don't want to completely rip off that million follower person or million subscriber person because no one's going to watch you over top of someone else that they could rather watch, right? So you just got to be very unique. You can't like copy other people's videos. You're not going to get noticed of that. Again, the most, the biggest channels are all ones that created the trend. 
So if you can create a trend, you're golden, right? Like a lot of a lot of channels basically create like Green Goblin who turned into Goblin HD. He basically invented tips and tricks on Fortnite. Like he was one of the first one, and now he has like hundreds of thousands of subscribers because he was the first one. You want to be the first one, but again, it's obviously very very difficult to be it a first one at nowadays and age so just try and provide your own content instead of taking other people's and the same thing goes for thumbnails if you just use someone else's thumbnails or copy someone's thumbnails they're gonna watch the one with the more views more subscribers it's just logical they're gonna find it more attractive they're gonna find it oh obviously they have they're more reliable etc etc so try and be unique for everything you do now the next thing I'm gonna mention is tags tags is a big deal for basically how to grow on anything including YouTube or uh, Fortnite for vlogging, whatever you want to do, um, for gaming in general, tags are probably the most important thing that will actually get you to where you want to be and grow your channel. And now for tags, you can there's a tons of apps or YouTube videos that you can look up to actually help you pick your tags. Um, again, I just looked on YouTube and I figured out a good way to figure out how to write my tags. And obviously, it's done very well for some videos, like that one video with 150,000 views. That one was all due to my tags and my good tag placements. Yeah, I definitely recommend you guys figure out how to put down proper tags because it is a big deal on how to actually grow on Fortnite and, and any or Fortnite YouTube and anything in general. Like tags are probably the most important thing important thing I'd say for growing your channel because no one's gonna watch you if it's just a thumbnail with no tags and no one's actually gonna be able to even see your video on the YouTube algorithm, right? So you actually gotta provide tags that people will be searching up. But like I said, tons of videos on that. I'm not gonna go too too in depth with that. And the next thing I'm going to talk about is clickbaiting. Now, you see tons and tons of channels doing this with millions of subscribers. And mo more specifically, those uh, channels that basically rip off content creators. Um, for example, the ones who would be like, Ninja quits Fortnite with a thumbnail of Ninja like getting angry. And then uh, like an X over Fortnite or something like that, right? And then you go watch the video, and basically it's Ninja being like, man, like, I don't even like this game anymore. Like, I'd rather go play Apex. Like, I'd, I'm going to quit this game and start laughing, right? Like, as a joke. Like, he's obviously joking about it. He's not going to quit the Fortnite. Like, it's what, it's made him all his money. He's not going to quit it, right? He might take a break from it, but he's clearly not going to not gonna quit. But what these channels make you think is that you're clicking onto this video, you're going to see Fortnite, or you're going to see Ninja rage and be like, okay, I'm quitting this game. I don't want to play this anymore, which isn't really the case, right? So basically... To provide, when I said provide quality content and, and unique content, also provide something that's real. If you're giving, saying, how to win every single game in Fortnite, never lose again with a picture of someone on the screen and uh, a caption saying, never lose again, obviously that's over exaggeration. You Some people do it, some people don't. For some videos, I don't think it's that bad, but when you're saying something like, let me think. Yeah, like for example, the ninja quits Fortnite or somewhere like I killed Mongrel in a pro scrim. When you fight Mongrel and he died to someone else or he bodied you or something like that, right? Like you want to be you want to be reliable. You want people to be like, "Hey, I can trust this person. I believe in his content." Because for example, like that video that I was like, "Oh, for ninja might have quit Fortnite," right? Um once I watched that video, I'm like, "Okay, well, I'm not going to leave a like on this video. I'm not going to subscribe to this guy. I'm not going to continue watching this, buddy." Why would I when he just lied to me about a content video? Like, why would I continue watching him, right? So, you want to provide real content that will make people actually want to stay and watch because why would they watch somebody that's not even telling them the truth, right? Now, the last and probably one of the, one of the most important tips along the side of tags is be consistent. Now, that is such a huge deal, being consistent. Now, basically, for me, I'm trying to post every two two days if I can obviously I'll miss some here or there it's not a big deal it's not the end of the world if you miss some you just got to try and be consistent as possible and yeah like I try and post every two days doesn't always happen but I try my best and if you're only posting once a month I'm sorry to say but there's 99 percent of chance you're not going to grow on Fortnite YouTube or even in YouTube in general whatever you're going to do but yeah the more consistent you post the more people see your videos the more chances it has that go at uh going big but yeah basically like i said consistency consistency and tags is probably the most important thing you can work on and actually like research and figure out how to do them proper and again for consistency very very important probably the most important thing you can do but yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash the like button make sure you hit the subscribe button comment what i can do for a future video <clears throat> excuse me and yeah so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and make sure you leave a comment if you want me to do anything else like i said
Have a good one. Everybody.